the range as the targets are being replaced. Now it's time for the all exciting compound of mixed team medal matches. We start with the bronze. Well, as always, we take a look at how the teams got to this stage. Losing semi-finalists shoot off against each other for the bronze medal. The Italians came through France in the quarterfinals before losing out to a buoyant Great Britain team. Russia, well, they beat the USA quite comfortably in the quarterfinals, but lost to Slovenia in the semis. So it's Italy versus Russia in the mixed team bronze medal match. Italy shot a 13-22 in the ranking round to be ranked 13th. Unlucky for some. Well, that's not what the Italians are saying. They've got a chance of a medal here in Berlin. Russia shot a 13-47 to be ranked 6th. But uh, both beaten fairly comfortably in the semi-finals. Have to pick themselves up to shoot off for the bronze medal. Let's go straight down to the range. Russia leading us out, looking very cool and calm, you have to say. Victoria Balzanova is paired up with Alexander Dambayev. They'll go up against the Italian pairing of Marcella Tonioli and Elia Frenian. How does the mixed team work, Crystal? So the mixed team, just like the other teams, is cumulative score. There's 16 arrows split into four ends of four arrows, two per archer. There's a maximum score of 160 points. At the end of the day, the team with the most points wins. Simple. Exactly. Here are the Italians. Tonioli leading out her teammate. Frenyan. And we're used to seeing her shoot with Sergio, so a little bit of different pairing here. Sergio Pagni, of course. Exactly. 50 stage stages as of Berlin he's been to, so incredible career one, for him. Representing Italy. A colorful character. Elia yes, I always enjoy shooting with her. Keeps things fun and you're, you always see her smiling. Line judge for this match is Shannon Russell Cohen. I think the key in this match is going to be how Victoria performs. I saw her matches the other day, individual, and she was very hot or very not. <laughs> there wasn't much in between. So it be very interesting to see how she performs in this, and I think the match could come down to her. Good deal of uh, discussion between the two teammates on both sides. Italy on target one will shoot first in this bronze medal match. Good arrow, nice solid 10, and she's going to be telling her teammate where she aimed if it wasn't the middle and sending that feedback. Well, a blinker for Frenyan. It's interesting to see that Tonioli actually closes her left eye completely before shooting. Yes, quite a few compound archers will do that. I did that myself, and really comes down to how dominant your right eye is and whether you're able to see one or two targets. Bayef, eyes open for him, puts it into the 10 ring. Mini opportunity for Balzanova here. Just saw her reach up and put that arrow back on the rest as it fell off. Just see the wind picking up as well. We're going to keep an eye on the clock here. You see this they've only had shot their first arrows, and they're already down to 36 seconds, the Russian team. Italy had 46 seconds. So. Did Balzan ever have a choice there? There was a bit of a gust of wind. She was holding on to wait for it to die off, right? I think it's a smart move, but it definitely could come into play on her second arrow. Steady as a rock up there, just beautiful. 
So again, we're seeing a lot of high arrows coming off the practice range with these archers. A little twitch, but gets it into the nine. Big opportunity here for the Russians in the first end. Yeah, you put two tens down there and you got a two point lead just like that. But again, watch that clock. So we're down to 20 seconds already. Oh, so she needs a 10 here just to tie things up. No time. With not a lot of time left. Got to release this quickly. Full draw. Gets it out with just a second left on the clock. And what could have been a two point lead for Russia is actually a one point deficit. Yeah, I mean, I think it comes down to they were they knew they were rushed and had to get arrows off and weren't able to execute properly. Well, they're discussing it, and Balzanova talking to Dan Bayev. This was his second arrow, coming out to the eighth there. And I think you called it straight away. The, the pressure that that second arrow, the long hold on the second arrow for Russia, really paid its price. Exactly. I think he, he the shot didn't look bad. I think he probably just rushed in and probably didn't have the pin in the middle when, when he had to shoot it. Yeah. Discussion between the two, looking fairly calm. The Italians, well, Marcello Tanielli is affording herself a little boogie. Yeah. It's the best thing to do when you're out there, relax, calm, just enjoy the music. See their coach behind them. He stood behind them for years. Great coach. Russia's going to shoot first since they're down in the match. Dan Bayev gets us off the mark in the second end of this bronze medal match in the mixed team event on compound Saturday here in Berlin. Alzanova well, goes through her process again, putting the arrow back up onto its rest. So much better timing that time. You see 45 seconds was left. Solid X10 for the two of them. They're going to be happy with this end. Get a close up of uh, Tonioli here. Watch that left eye. Nice and close so she can focus in and really see the target clearly through the scope. I don't want to get into medical technology here, but don't you lose a sense of perspective if you close one eye? I heard it can affect your balance is the big thing. You're not as steady, but a lot of compound archers especially do that. The peep is very tiny that you're looking through and you really gotta be able to see accurately through it. He's very solid, isn't he? Yes. Yes. Great action. Hear the coach getting excited behind him. How is your Russian? Zero. Spasiba. <laughs> Another long hold. Five seconds on the clock, but she puts it into the ten. A perfect score from the Russians. So Italy's going to need to match here to keep that one point advantage. So all tied up if he puts a 10 down range. Subject to a measure that last arrow, but what was a one-point lead is now a one-point deficit. The perfect 40 from Russia, putting them one point ahead at the halfway stage of this bronze medal match. 
So dropping an eight in the first end, the Russians responding with a perfect 40. Those red dots right in the center, all on a line. Yeah, exactly. So you see a little bit of left and right probably by the wind, but perfect up and down. So they're they're really dialed in with their sights. <laughs> so now back to Italy shooting first. <laughs> Trailing by one or leading by one, Tonioli still smiling. Always. Oh, they met already nine times in career. Italy and Russia, four out of nine wins for Italy, five out of nine wins for Russia. Well, waiting for the range to be declared, declared safe to shoot. Italy trailing by one, shooting on target one. Will go first in the third end. Marcello Tognoli up on the line. Great view of that thumb trigger. You see the bright pink comes in different shapes. Christina from Germany sells them. Really customizes them for each archer to find something that works great for them. So they're coming out fighting this end. <laughs> they certainly are. So you see the Russian archer has big V-bars coming off both sides of the back of this bow. Not something you typically see with compound archers. That's more of a recurve type setup. Typically you just see one bar off the back in compound. And that's simply for balance? Yes, and, and a lot of that has to do with the sights on one side of your bow, so you want to kind of counteract the weight of the sight by putting your bar off the other side. Quick oh, shot. Oh. Looks like it's just off. Yeah, good group, but uh, just outside the 10 ring. Another great, great shot. shot. Yeah, it was beautiful. You saw she was nice and steady and just a very clean release. Now the Olympic rings, don't let that confuse you on the tattooed arm of uh, Frenyan. Compound, oh dear. Oh. That is potentially catastrophic for the Italians. Can the Russians capitalize? No compound archery in uh, the Olympic Games, but the Olympic rings are on Frenyan's arm because he went to the Youth Olympic Games in Nanjing. So, massive opportunity here. A 10, and the pressure is all off the Russians. Inside 10 seconds. Wow, I saw her throw her bow arm, but hit the 10. A three-point lead for Russia heading into the fourth and final end. I don't want to say it's done and dusted, but sometimes one arrow can make that difference. But we've seen so many matches turn on their heads in the final end. And not just uh, today in the, in the medal matches. It's you versus you. That's a, it's a great sentiment on the back of the Italian T-shirts. Uh, trying to dial into the fact that you've got to try and ignore what your opponent's doing and just shoot it down the middle. But yeah, all, all week we've seen matches turn on their heads in the final end. Exactly. I mean, in compound, you're used to seeing a three, four, five point lead as a done deal heading into that final end. And yet we have seen match after match after match this week reverse in that final end a six point swing. Well, Frenyan went to the Nanjing Youth Olympic Games, but that experience going into the seven for him opened the door for the Russians, who finished that end with two tens and now have one hand, or one foot on the third step of the podium. The Italians trailing will shoot first in the final end of the mixed team bronze medal match.
Again, textbook shot by Tony Oli. Beautiful shot. Right down the middle. Question is, can he recover from that seven? Stay focused and put a 10 down range to put some a little bit of pressure on Russia. Well, it's a better shot. It's only a nine. So now Russia knows if they hold yellow, they worst they can do is tie. Definitely took some pressure off of them. And there's one. Balzanova shooting second this time. Another long hold for her. Nine. Another nine, so Italy can put two tens down there. Russia will need a ten in order to win the match. Zoning in, Tonioli. It's her final arrow go, and she's put it in the eight. I think that pretty much seals this match. Pressure off Frenier, though. We want to put down a good arrow to finish this one off. He puts a solid X, so did what he needed to do. Four point lead for Russia. Two eights will tie it. Yellow will give them the win. Dambea puts it on the line, marked as a 10. A 7 is all that's needed to win. We have seen stranger things happen, though. We have. Arzanova, can she hold her nerve? And an 8. But that's all she needed. <laughs> she needed a 7. She got the 8. And Russia take a topsy-turvy bronze in the mixed team event on Compound Saturday here in Berlin. Handshakes all round. A couple of drop points uh, from Frenian. And then the uh, 8 from Tonioli as well. It's all it takes. These archers are so used to hitting the center of the target that just one or two drop points is all that's required. Confirmation there from the target judge. That Alexander Dambea from the left, paired up with Victoria Balzanova on the right, are the bronze medalists here in the mixed team event in Berlin.